Long before Newton's apple fell, ancient Indian scholars were contemplating the force that governs the universe, gravity. While the world credits Newton with its discovery in the 17th century, centuries earlier, Brahmagupta, an Indian scientist, had already described Earth's power of attraction. In Ujjain, India, around the 7th century AD, Brahmagupta wrote that all objects fall to Earth due to its inherent nature. Just as rivers flow toward the ocean, every object is drawn to the Earth itself. He understood that no matter where one stands on the planet, they remain upright, and that all things, when left unsupported, fall toward the ground. This was not just a philosophical observation, it was a fundamental principle of nature. Fast forward to the 12th century, another Indian mathematician and astronomer, Bhaskara II, expanded on this concept. He explained that objects do not merely fall, but are actively being pulled toward the Earth, a remarkable insight closely mirroring Newton's later formulation. Bhaskara even argued that people on opposite sides of the globe would not fall off into space, recognizing Earth's spherical nature and its gravitational pull. Newton's famous encounter with a falling apple may have led to the mathematical formalization of gravity, but could history have overlooked these pioneering discoveries from India? These ancient texts, hidden in plain sight, suggest that gravity was understood in India centuries before the West embraced the idea. Lost in time, but never forgotten, was Newton truly the first? Or did ancient India unlock gravity's secret long before?